All right, hey everyone. Uh, I'm Amit Tallwalker. I'm the general chair for System L19, uh, and this is the, uh, the other organizers for, for this year. So what we wanted to do in this first talk is first welcome everybody here, tell you a little bit about what we've been up to for the last year and, and kind of what to expect for the next few days. So I think we all agree that you know, we're here because we're excited at research at the intersection of systems and machine learning. Uh, there's been a growing community around SysML for the last several years. That's both the case in terms of overlapping topics at leading conferences on machine learning and systems, as well as workshops at these various conferences. So that led us last year to start SysML of a conference. It was, you know, I think pretty well received. Um, you know, we, we had over 200 submissions. We lightly reviewed them. They were non-archival. Uh, you know, the community seemed to be really excited about Participating in the conference, we had nearly 300 people attend from 78 organizations. Registration sold out really quickly. Uh, and you know, we, it was organized by the, by the organizing committee, many of the folks that I listed on the previous slide, uh, as well as with a lot of help from Stanford Conferences, who was again helping us this year. Uh, but so, sort of motivated by our experiences last year, there were some changes we wanted to make this year. And so what I'd like to talk about for the next few minutes is kind of what we've been working on to implement these changes uh, this, this year. So first, in terms of the program, we wanted to move towards a formal review process with archival proceedings for accepted papers uh, and to encourage that we had high quality papers and that we were able to communicate between this interdisciplinary machine learning and systems community. We also had an in-person PC review meeting back in December. In terms of community, we decided to write a white paper uh, collectively among you know, various, various folks in the community to describe SysML, the conference, and, and, and more broadly, the, the field of, of SysML. We also wanted to increase participation in the sense that you know, registration sold out so quickly last year, we wanted to make sure we could uh, you know, have more people come uh, this time around. And finally, you know, while doing that, we still wanted to continue to target researchers. The SysML is fundamentally you know, a research conference. Uh, and then finally, in terms of organization, we, you know, we wanted, basically we wanted to formalize uh, the structure of SysML to set it up for you know, future success. That both meant uh, you know, thinking more about the internal organization of SysML, as well as potentially finding a partner organization to help us uh, run and organize the conference moving forward. So Matei, one of the program chairs, is going to be talking more about the program right after me. So I'll, I'll leave the details of the program to him. Uh, but I want to say a little bit more about uh, the community and organization efforts. Uh, so first, the, you know, as I mentioned, we, we uh, worked on this white paper. I'm happy to say that we just released it, I think, two days ago. It's on the website. Still has not been uh, accepted to archive. There's like 50 plus authors that, that might have confused the folks on archive. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a white paper. It's a short paper describing the field and the conference and, and authored by you know, the majority of folks on the steering, uh, organizing, and last year and this year's program committees. So I encourage you to check it out. Uh, in terms of participation, uh, you know, there's 515 and I think a few more people uh, signed up walk-in. 500 people registered for the conference. That's nearly double last year. Uh, from 140 organizations, again, that's nearly double from last year. And I think it's really cool that 23% of the attendees are international. Again, that's way up from last year and it's just kind of nice to see such, such diversity geographically. Uh, in terms of academia versus industry, we uh, unsurprisingly have a, a strong industry presence. Uh, and you know, given the amazing research being done in, uh, in industry, especially in an area like SysML, again, this, isn't, you know, this is kind of what you'd expect. I do think that the majority of the folks here really would self-identify as being part of the research community, though. And that's, that was kind of one of the core focuses when, when, uh, you know, when organizing the conference. Uh, in terms of organization, there was, there was two big things that, uh, that we made pro progress on this year. The first was formalizing our organizational structure and bylaws. And you know, the underlying idea here is that we just as an organization need to know how we make decisions. What is the process for picking new venues, picking new chairs? What are the roles of each of the chairs each year? So we, we all know what, you know what we're expected to do and not expected to do. Uh, and so working you know, closely with the rest of the organizing committee and the steering committee, we converge on a set of bylaws, which again, I think will help us make decisions more smoothly moving forward. Uh, and, and the second big uh, piece related to organization, which I'm really excited about, is that we decided to partner uh, with the NURBS Foundation moving forward. So uh, for those of you who don't know, the NURBS Foundation, they, you know, they run and manage uh, NURBS and ICML, which are two of the oldest and most prominent machine learning conferences. They also organize iClear, which is a newer conference, maybe seven-ish years old, but it's also a, a top-tier machine learning conference. 
And starting next year, they'll be helping us run uh, System Out. And you know, this is really exciting for us in the sense that they have a huge amount of experience running conferences. You know, myself having attended all these other conferences, they're well-oiled machines. They're really, you know, they, they allow the organizers to focus you know, more on the technical content, and they do a better job than we could possibly hope to do organizing you know, kind of the logistical aspects of things. So we're really, really excited to be working with them moving forward. Uh, so with that, before I turn it over to Matei, uh, I, I'd like to just thank, there's a lot of people to thank to, to put on this conference, and kind of that starts with everyone here in this audience, right? So the point of this conference is to bring this community together. So the fact that you guys are all here is really, really exciting. Uh, you know, showing up, uh, submitting papers, publicizing the event. So it's great that, you know, we're all here in the same room. Uh, next, I'm gonna thank the steering and the program committees. So the steering committee for providing high-level guidance, helping publicize the conference. The program committee, uh, you know, they worked really hard to, you know, you know, for the review process, including many, many folks flying out to Montreal in December for this in-person PC meeting. So we're really appreciative of all their, appreciative of all their hard work. Uh, next, uh, at Stanford Conferences, Bridget Neff has really helped a bunch with local arrangements. Uh, as I mentioned, the NURBS Foundation, they're not technically working with us until next year, but they've been incredibly generous with their time so far. Uh, and so I want, to, I want to thank Mary Ellen and Lee, who are sitting in the back left over there, as well as David Kirkpatrick, who is uh, a legal advisor of ours. Uh, and, and next, uh, an art, the Artifact Evaluation Committee. So from the start, and again, Matei is going to talk more about this, but from the start, reproducibility has been really an important component of SysML. And the Artifact Evaluation Committee sort of did the work to execute on, on that vision. And again, Matei will talk more about it, but you know, thank you guys for your hard work. All right, so a few more thanks. Uh, so the organizing committee, right, uh, th these are folks that uh, I mentioned in, in my first slide, right? There's been a lot of work, lots of moving parts to put this conference together. This year, we, we took on a lot more than we did last year, right? And, and the conference wouldn't have happened without the hard work of all these people. So that's, you know, Dimitris is our publication chair. Uh, Sid was our website chair. Alex and Vivian were our publicity chairs. Theo and Say were our demo chairs. Uh, Grigory and Gennady were our uh, artifact evaluation chairs, Sarah was sponsorship chair, and Alex and Chris uh, as our white paper chairs. Uh, so there, there's a few people on the organizing committee that I think deserve uh, special, special thanks for their hard work, uh, and that's our program chairs, Virginia Smith and Matei Zaharia, uh, as well as our local chair, Erica Strandberg. So these three worked incredibly hard to put this conference together, uh, and you know, from the program chairs, from Virginia Matei's point of view, in addition to working really hard, they had to be really thoughtful about how to put this program together such that it you know, was interesting and appropriate for a pretty diverse and interdisciplinary community. And not only did they have to organize the main conference, they also had to organize this in-person PC meeting, which for half of the people coming from the ML community, they had pretty much no experience with this, and there was a lot of learning and uh, organization involved there, and they did an absolutely amazing job. Uh, in terms of Erica, Right? Organizing a conference of, uh, executing at a conference of 500 plus people is incredibly hard. And you know, not only did she do it a really, really good job at it, she just, you know, she always had a smile on her face. She, it was very pleasant to work with her and she just, you know, she, she just absolutely hit it out of the park. So I think we should thank all three of them for just an incredible effort. All right, and, and last, you know, it's, we, we're incredibly grateful for our sponsors for this year, um, right? We have, you know, it won't be, it won't be possible to, to be where we are to sort of put on the event that, that is being put on for these next few days, including the banquet last night, without really, really generous support from our sponsors. Many of these sponsors have uh, booths and, you know, booths outside, and for the next few days, I'd, I'd encourage you to talk with them, check out what they're doing in the system L space, and just to thank them for their, for their generosity. Great, so with that, I will turn it over to Matei. 